What is the best motherboard for video editing and audio production? Let's find out. In this series, I'm doing the ultimate audio PC build using high-end gear that is designed to encode a lot of media, whether that's video or audio. We're not playing games here, we're encoding and occasionally live streaming. So in the last episode, you would have seen my decision behind the CPU purchasing decision I made, uh, which was to get the Ryzen 7 2700X, which is a brilliant CPU. Let's call it the brains of everything in my computer. I need to spend a lot of money on that to get a lot of cores, to be able to do a lot of intensive work quickly. But of course, just as important is the motherboard, which allows everything to travel around the body of your PC. That's why I went for the ASUS Prime X470 Pro motherboard. Why this one in particular when there are so many choices? Well, first of all, I needed to make the decision on the CPU first because you need to make sure that your motherboard is compatible with the CPU you buy. For instance, if I purchased an Intel CPU, it's not gonna fit on this ASUS Prime X470 Pro. That's why I've got an AMD compatible motherboard uh, that will fit nicely inside a tower as I start my PC build. And the other cool things about this are you've got the ASUS Aura Sync if you want that cool RGB look. And being in my shed, why not have a load of RGB lights flashing when you open up a dark shed? It just seems to make sense. It's also compatible with a load of other cool stuff. Uh, HDMI outputs, VR ready, of course, if you want to do a bit of VR gaming in your spare time. And it's got a really good, um, and this is another good thing for the audio side of things, Realtek S1220A audio codec, which has Crystal Sound 3. A little bit different to the early sound blasters that you would have got back in the day. So I'm really excited to open this up, get it out of its static proof coating, and take a look at what this board can do in context with my final PC board. So I've got the CPU, got the motherboard, now I need to power this whole thing up, otherwise I'm going to have trouble getting started, so I need to find a really good power supply. And join me in the next episode where I'll explore the best power supply for my audio PC build.